the Derby Silk Mill, probably the first factory in the world. But its origin is a shadowy tale of intrigue, espionage and murder that would change the industrial landscape of Britain forever. John Lom takes over the mill in the early 1700s with the aim of producing high quality silk, but the English weaving machines just aren't up to the task. Italy had cornered the market in the production of fine silk and guarded their trade secrets jealously. Lom decides that the only way of competing with the Italians is to steal their technology. Lom travels to Livorno in Italy, bribes his way into the silk mills there and makes drawings of the machines which are then smuggled back to Derby. When the Italians suspect foul play, they issue a warrant for his arrest, but Lom disappears. If he'd been caught, he would have been hung. So the Italians, the northern Italians, were well aware of the importance of their technology and what that meant to the Italian economy if it got into the wrong hands. Lom returns to Derby in triumph in 1717 and immediately begins replicating the Italian machines. His fortune seems assured. But the Italians have other ideas. They send a female agent to Derby who begins work at the factory. By 1722, John Lom is dead, the victim of slow poisoning. But there's a sting in this tale of international espionage. The technology that Lom had paid for with his life had been in England all along. A book detailing the Italian silk weaving process had been sitting on a bookshelf at the Bodleian Library in Oxford for decades. The silk mill not only paved the way in terms of the factory system coming to textile production and to Derbyshire, but it led the way in terms of some of the actual methods of technology as well. The importance of John Lom's daring act of piracy cannot be underestimated. The technology he brought to the banks of the Derwent was to prove crucial to British industrial history and was to pave the way for the factory system in Britain as we know it. Paul Bradshaw, BBC East Midlands, today.